I set up four raised beds from four different companies side by side so that I could help you figure out which metal raised bed is right for you. These companies were selected because, well, they decided to send these raised beds to me for free. And I do want you to know that even though I did receive these products for free, I did not sign anything saying that I would be particularly nice in my reviews of them. And I have also decided not to join any affiliate program for any of these raised beds because I want you to be able to trust that what I'm saying is what I actually think. However, I am absolutely not going to pass up the opportunity to compare all these different brands in the same garden, side by side, year over year for you. The four companies we're going to look at today are Enleo Life, Vigica, Vigo, and Kesfit. After taking tons of notes on these different companies, I settled on these six categories to compare them. Sturdiness, Material, Safety, Aesthetic, Cost, and the company as a whole. So let's start by talking about sturdiness. And we're going to start by talking about the Enleo Life bed. This raised bed was actually the biggest of the four that I was sent, and it came with four separate cross support rods. Each rod came in two pieces, which needed to be screwed together, and then the ends of the rod were screwed into the sides of the bed. Even though the connection point between the two halves of the rod used two bolts instead of one, I still found it to have quite a bit of bend in it. The purpose of these supports is to make sure that the walls of the raised bed don't bow outward under the pressure of the soil once it's filled. I did like that there were upper and lower supports for this bed though. As I said, it is one of the biggest raised beds of the ones that I was sent. This is the Vigo raised bed. This one is a nine in one kit. And while there are multiple ways to arrange it, I chose to arrange it in this long skinny formation. Similar to the Enleo Life bed, this raised bed does use cross supports. However, these ones are round instead of flat and they are one solid piece all the way across. However, if I had configured my raised bed differently, I would need longer cross supports. And Vigo accounted for that by providing cross support extensions. While this would technically make the support two pieces, the way that they screw together, I feel like they function better as a single piece than the Enleo Life ones. The Vigiga bed also came with very similar cross supports to the Vigo bed. However, because of the orientation that I ended up building my raised bed, the cross supports were not necessary. The Kesfit raised bed did not come with any cross support at all. Granted, this one that I built is much shorter than the others and theoretically has less chance of bowing out, but on their website it didn't seem to mention that even their taller raised beds would come with any sort of cross support. Alright, let's move on to how these things are actually held together. The Unleo Life bed comes with a bolt and wing nut setup, so this is very simple to put together. It's just two pieces and the only tools you really need are a Phillips head screwdriver. The Vigiga raised bed comes with a three-part attachment system. It's a bolt and a nut with a washer to help spread out the force of the nut onto that metal. This kit came with a tool to fit over the nut so that you could properly tighten it. The Vigiga attachment setup was very similar, except that the washer and the nut were actually one fused piece. And I think theoretically these should work the same way as a separate nut and washer. However, it is really nice that I didn't have to go digging through the bag of hardware for three pieces and I only really had to pick out two pieces for each attachment point. The Kesfit attachment is almost the exact same as the Vigiga with a separate bolt, washer, and nut. The biggest difference here is that the Kesfit nuts were all acorn nuts or cap nuts. These are the, the nuts that you see that totally cover the threads of the bolt. Next in the sturdiness category, we're going to look at the actual shape of the metal used to build these raised beds. The Anleo Life, Vigo, and Kesfit beds all are formed on this sinusoidal wave pattern. It's very rounded and it goes kind of up and down, down the side of the raised bed, as you can see. This is a really standard shape for corrugated metal, and this is much stronger than a flat sheet of metal would be because of the way that the forces are spread out along the curve. The Vigiga raised bed has a somewhat different structure. This is their upgraded version. They did previously have sinusoidal wave 
sides on their raised beds. This new trapezoidal design is supposed to be much stronger because of the way that it distributes the forces that are pushing from the inside of the bed towards the outside, like I mentioned. So overall, out of the types of support, I would say the single solid cross support is the best type of support. I like the bolt and washer nut combo from Vigo, and the trapezoidal wave structure of the Vigigo bed is probably the strongest. All right, let's consider the materials that went into constructing these raised beds. This is a picture provided to me by the Kesfit representative, but I think it is a really good illustration of how all of these beds are put together. You've, You've got the steel substrate in the center, and on either side of that is a coating that is meant to prevent the steel substrate underneath from rusting. And then on top of that, you've got your spray coating that will usually have the paint color in it. For Kesfit in particular, they used their patented zinc alloy coating. It's a zinc aluminum combination. But as far as their spray coating, I couldn't find any information on it besides the fact that it is indeed a spray coating. And Neolife uses the same zinc aluminum anti-rust coating, but their outer coating is as noble which is a USDA approved paint that is food safe. The Vigigo website states that they specifically use a zinc aluminum magnesium alloy as opposed to the zinc aluminum only alloys on the other two raised beds. Supposedly, the addition of magnesium is supposed to make them even more rust resistant. Vigigo also uses the USDA approved food safe paint. Similar to Vigiga, Vigo also uses a zinc magnesium aluminum alloy. On the website, they talk about the fact that this material is the first of its kind, and I don't know if they mean that they developed it before Vegiga did, or if the actual combination of elements is different in their formulation, but as far as I'm concerned, they probably work about the same. Again, Vigo also uses that same USDA-approved food safe paint. So in the material category, the zinc aluminum magnesium coating I think is going to be a little bit better. And obviously the USDA approved paint is much better than a random spray coating. All right, let's talk safety. Most metal raised beds that you see out there are going to have some kind of rubber edging on the top. And Leo Life claims that this is unnecessary with their raised beds because they have specifically rolled the edges to make them smooth and non-sharp. And I do agree, they're pretty easy to run my hands over like you could still technically catch your skin on it if you tried really hard, but I would say it is reasonably safe without the rubber edging. But it is worth noting that these wing nuts right here at the top have their own sharp edges, and I'm actually not a big fan of the fact that they're just exposed. All three of the other raised beds have this rubber topper, but I wanted to see just how sharp they are without it. Vajiga seems to be just a tiny bit sharper right there at those corners, but the actual top of the metal is very smooth, comparable to Anleo Life. Vigo is almost exactly the same, very smooth over the top, just a little bit of catching on those corners, but honestly nothing too bad. And it's the same story for Kesfit. These all feel like very similar metals and the edges feel like a very similar amount of sharp at the corners, but not too bad. Similar to the Enleo Life bed, the Vigiga raised bed does have exposed nuts at the top, although I would say these edges are not as sharp as the wing nuts on the Enleo Life. The Vigo and Kesfit beds both have these cap nuts or acorn nuts over the bolts on the top two rows. And these are the only two rows that you would really ever worry about being exposed. But I do like that they are covered and it's virtually impossible to scratch yourself on them. So overall for safety, I think I do prefer the rubber edging just because even if the edges aren't particularly sharp, you could still kind of catch yourself on those edges. Additionally, I do prefer the cap nuts to exposed bolts and wing nuts. All right, let's talk aesthetic. Are they even pretty? In Leo Life raised beds come in a variety of sizes and they come in two main shapes. You can get either the rounded edges or the rectangular, more square edges. They come in two colors, gray or white, and you can also get them at two different heights, either 18 inches or 24 inches, which is 45 centimeters and 61 centimeters respectively. 
When it comes to Vejiga, there are a lot more options. There's a few different heights. There's a lot of different orientations. And specifically, in addition to round and sharper cornered raised beds, Vejiga also has available things like raised beds with a right corner in them. And they have tiered beds as well, which I think are really neat. Vejiga raised beds also come in six different colors, and you can get them as tall as 11 inches, 17 inches, or 32 inches, which is 28 centimeters, 43 centimeters, and 81 centimeters respectively. Vigo raised beds had maybe the largest selection of styles of raised bed out of any of these companies. They have a classic collection, which is what I have, a novel collection, and a modern collection. Inside their classic collection, they have a few different orientations, they have a few different heights for their raised beds, as well as seven different colors. One of them, which I think is particularly interesting, is this mock wood grain. I'm not sure if it's really my style, but it's definitely really interesting. The novel collection seems pretty new, and there are only three styles available, but they do come in five different colors. Lastly, the modern collection is definitely a very different look for these metal raised beds, and they are very different from the one that I have and the one that I'm reviewing, especially because they do have those flat sides like, like I talked about. I would say they're so different, I might have to review them separately. Vigo also offers what they call advanced raised beds. These are propped up raised beds and self-watering raised beds. And while I don't have any of these products, I do appreciate that they offer such a wide variety. Classic Vigo raised beds come in 17 inch and 32 inch, which is 43 centimeters and 81 centimeters respectively. Compared to the others, Kesfit has the fewest options for color, size, and design. Although this brand does offer a lot of different gardening related products that you can't find at the other retailers. Kesfit offers their raised beds in three different colors, rounded corners only, and they come in 12 inches high or 18 inches high, which is 30 centimeters or 45 centimeters respectively. Now I know one of the biggest things that you're gonna consider when you're buying these raised beds is how much do they cost? They are fairly expensive compared to other options. However, all four of these companies claim that their raised beds will last 20 or more years. While all these companies offer raised beds in various sizes and colors, I tried to pick out one common raised bed among all four companies that would be approximately comparable. Obviously, there are a few size differences, but we're getting as close as we can. And Leo Life offers their raised beds in bundles or packs, so buying just one at a time really isn't an option with this company. A three pack of the size of raised bed that was sent to me to review would go for $549, which means each raised bed from that pack would be $183. I chose to compare this to the Vegiga 9-in-1 raised bed. This one is just a touch smaller in all dimensions compared to the Enleo Life raised bed, and they're charging base price $179.95. Vigo, for the exact same 9-in-1 raised bed, charges regularly $189.95, but I saw that it was on sale for $169.95, and I feel like this company probably does run a lot of sales, so it would be fairly easy to get that price. Meanwhile, Kesfit just absolutely blows it out of the water in this category. Their 7-in-1, which is approximately the same size as the Vigiga and the Vigo beds, costs only $89.99, which is far cheaper than any of the other options. So I have to say, if you're only looking at cost, Kesfit is gonna be your best option. Lastly, I wanna talk about the companies behind these products. I know it's not necessarily important to some people, but to me, it really matters what the company that I'm giving my money to is doing with that money, and that's gonna influence how much I trust them and how much I therefore trust their product. So right off the bat, you can see that in Leo Life, Vigiga, and Vigo all have educational blogs, this kind of feels like a baseline for these types of companies at this point. And while that is a point in their favor, I would say it's not a very big point. And as far as the information provided on their website by the company, Vigiga and Vigo both had clear company statements and goals, 
while in Leo Life and Kesfit left quite a bit to be desired. And Leo Life did have an about page, but it was just kind of vague and whatever. And Kesfit was honestly very hard to find any information about at all. Something that Vigo does that I really do want to point out is that they have a kids program. It seems that they donate raised beds to good causes, specifically ones where children are going to be learning to garden. It looks like they also donate raised beds to communities where people are going to be growing food for potentially those less fortunate or spreading knowledge of gardening to people who need it in their community. Vigo also offers this very cool tool that none of the other companies offer. It is a 3D planner for your garden. So you can actually go in and choose the size of your yard and start putting raised beds in it to kind of see ahead of time how much space they're actually going to take up and help you decide from like all their options because they have so many options kind of what exactly you want to get from them before you've even bought them. So for me personally, Vigo is the clear winner here. All right, so we've gone over sturdiness, material, safety, aesthetic, cost, and company overall. So I'm going to go back over each of these categories, choose a clear category winner, and then I will present to you the company that I think I would spend my money at. As far as sturdiness goes, I think Vajiga is the clear winner here with the solid single cross support, a bolt washer and nut attachment point, and specifically that trapezoidal wave structure down the sides of the beds. When it comes to material, Vajiga and Vigo seem to have nearly identical materials, so they are going to tie the material category. In safety, like I was saying, I definitely prefer that rubber edging, and I definitely prefer the acorn cap nuts on these raised beds. So Vigo and Kesfit tie this category. And as far as the aesthetic category, I don't necessarily want to rank them because you like what you like, and th what you like the look of is really only your business. However, I will pick Vigiga and Vigo as tie winners for this category simply because they have so many options. When it comes to cost, as I said previously, Kesfit is just hands down the clear winner of this category. And then, as I just said, I think Vigo as a company is probably my favorite. So of these four companies, my overall pick is going to have to be Vigo. I know these raised beds were sent to me for free, but if I was going to spend my own money on a raised bed, I think I would have to go with Vigo. Vigiga, however, is a really nice second option. And the main thing that they have over Vigo, in my opinion, is that trapezoidal shape to their raised beds. However, that is not to say that in Leo Life and Kesfit are not worth spending your money at. Particularly, I think in Leo Life is great if you want that larger sized raised bed. They, they had the largest raised bed option of all four of these. And if cost is your thing, then you're not gonna find anything better than Kesfit. They're a really great budget option, in my opinion. I am also planning on revisiting this review every single year and updating you guys with how they are actually doing year over year and which ones are maybe rusting or looking a little dull, which ones might have bowed out, because I have a lot of thoughts right now, but these are definitely subject to change once I see how they do in the long term. If you want to catch next year's review and if you want to support this kind of unsponsored content, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, happy gardening!